Hello, 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 hello. God bless you. You are all welcome to the prophetic hour. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And this God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. We are so happy and so glad we are able to come through this medium to you out there. God will bless you and increase and prosper you. Welcome to this edition of the prophetic hour where we receive words that will encourage our soul and lift up our spirit. Words that would encourage our soul and lift up our spirit. Thank you very much everyone who stayed tuned and stayed in and came on um, through uh, our, our intro. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. God will honor you. God will make you to arise and shine and prosper and make you succeed increase he will grant you all your heart desire in the name of so welcome 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 god will bless you increase and prosper you we do appreciate you all and god will honor you the plan and purpose of god for your lives shall definitely come to pass even right now in the name of john don't forget please we are on two platforms as you can see on the screen we are on two platforms we are on facebook that is our facebook address we are on Facebook. That is our Facebook address, as you can see. If you are watching us via Facebook, please share on your timeline, share on your Facebook page, share amongst the groups you belong to, and God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your life. It's very important to share. Let's share and let's get as many people as possible on board, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And also, we are on YouTube. That's our YouTube channel. You know what? God will bless in case and prosper you. As you begin to share on your YouTube channel, informing your friends that we are on right now, and God will bless every Everyone in Jesus' name. So, those who are watching us via YouTube, you are welcome in Jesus' name. God will honor, bless, increase, and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center. It's the church of Pastor, my wife, Pastor Funke. It's the church where Christ Himself reigns supreme and lives are touched and changed and transfer. So you are all welcome. I'm so excited to be on today, and God will bless you mightily and marvelously. I'd like to thank all those who have joined, Sister Krista. Welcome, Sister Helen. Welcome, Sister Buki. Welcome, Sister Buki is double double. I can see you on Facebook and also on YouTube. God will bless and kiss and prosper. I'm going to pray for the first three that came on Sister Krista, Sister Helen, and Sister Buki. I'm going to declare a prophetic word over your life. You are the first three that came on. And when I say present, I can call you anytime. So you need to watch throughout the three of you. Let me write that down so I won't forget the three. Let me write that down. Sister Krista, number one. Sister Crystal, no, I'm writing it down. That's why I'm looking away. Sister Helen, number two. And Sister Buki, number three. And Sister Buki is also on YouTube. She's number one. I just want to pray for one first person on YouTube. She's the first person on YouTube, Sister Buki. So I will call you anytime to pray and declare a word over your life. Prophetic word. So you must stay tuned throughout. Not popping in and popping out. If I call your name, you must say present. I must see your present within the next one minute. Or else I move on. Amen. Amen. So Sister Alam, you are welcome. Sister Gitty, you are welcome. Sister Vishala, you are welcome. Sister Jean Louise, you are welcome. Sister Dickiness and Lala, you are welcome. Sister Palace, you are welcome. Sister Fakabran, you are welcome. Pastor Chichi, you are welcome. Sister Tina, nice to see you this evening. You are welcome. In Jesus' name. Sister Nancy, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. And Mommy Adishala, you are welcome. And God bless you in the name of Jesus. Sister Grace Kitchen, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Sister Sumba, you are welcome in Jesus' name. God will bless in Christ and prosper. We're going to honor you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. And Sister Grace Bada, you are welcome in Jesus' name. I believe you are first time you are welcome in Jesus' name. And God will bless in Christ and prosper you all mightily. And be your same, you are welcome. Sister Yabo, you are welcome. Always on. We appreciate you. God will bless in Christ and prosper you. God will honor you. Sister Lizzie Shaw, you are welcome. Daddy Solomon, Daddy Alicia Lassa, you are welcome. Sir, God bless you. Sister Fiyanu Homi, all the way from Scotland, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Sister Joy, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Sister Palace, also, that's Sister Palace here. I can see Sister Palace again on YouTube. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Brother Mike, I can see Brother Mike on, on YouTube. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Brother Jeme, you are welcome in Jesus' name. God will bless, increase, and prosper him and begin to work his wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny in the name of your soul. I do appreciate you all. God will bless, increase, and prosper you. God will honor you. The plan and purpose of God for your lives shall come to pass and it shall be fulfilled in the name of God. Somebody was telling me, somebody had a dream about a dog, about a dog. You had a dream about a dog. I hear God say, that dog has been destroyed. It's not, it's not an ordinary dog. It's not an ordinary dog. You had a dream about a dog 
and I see fire coming down and crushing that dog. If that is you, just type dog because fire comes in there. Just type dog. If that is you, how they do about a dog, about a dog. Just type dog and God will destroy that power. The effect of that, the plan of the dog over your life shall be destroyed and demolished and God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. The God we are serving is a mighty God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Bless you. We give you all the praise. Glory now. Thank you Lord for giving us the grace to be here again. Even in your presence where there is fullness of joy, we bless you, worship you, praise you, adore you, honor you. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in Jesus. And there's none like unto you. There's none besides you. There's none we can compare to God. Lord, for giving us the grace to be here again in your presence. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Every sin, Lord, forgive in Jesus' name. Send down your power into our mission. Just Holy Ghost, begin to walk your wonders. Do a new work. Recover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Prove yourself. Do a new work. Every demonic and any power we bind and cast to hell. Mighty Father, begin to walk your wonders in our lives. Come down with your fire. Come down with your power. Come down with your glory and begin to work wonders. Father, we honor and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. There's somebody that's watching. You saw yourself going to school. You saw yourself. Somebody said, said some was going to school. You're not of school. You're not a student. You're not going to school. Some saw themselves in an examination hall. And God sent me to tell you that no more backwardness. Every spirit, every yoke of backwardness is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I repeat again, every yoke and every spirit of backwardness is destroyed and consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. If that is you, tap that no more backwardness. No more back. If, I, if you are the one, let me slow down. If you are the one who had that dream, Tap it up, no more backwardness. God wants to remove backwardness from your life. That is the plan of the enemy. And that's why many things are delayed in your life. Many things are not moving forward the way it's supposed to move forward. And once you type that backwardness, God will destroy the yoke of backwardness in your life and destiny. And God will cancel the power of that demonic dream over your life. And no more backwardness. God will have is a mighty God. And he's going to begin to do a great work and a mighty work even in your lives and destinies. In the name of Jesus, I thank God for my wife, Pastor Fungas. You are online. God bless you. Nice to see you. It is well in Jesus' name. Sister... Uh, dickiness, dickiness, dickiness. Messiah, God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. So you're all welcome. God will bless in case I'm possible. God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. If you're joining us for the very first time, let me slow down. And we air this program every Tuesday at six, seven, nine o'clock. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Join us. As you join us, the Lord will bless you. Increase and prosper. That's UK time, nine o'clock, prophetic hour, where you receive words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. Words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. Somebody that's watching, there was a feast in your dream and you sat down and ate. <laughs> you ate. There was a feast. You had a, you saw a feast in your dream and you sat down in your mind. You are saying that it's free food. Let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. And you began to eat. You began to eat. You began to eat in your dream. That food they have fed you with in your dream, I evacuate it by fire. If that is you, Type it out, evacuate it, or evacuate it, just evacuate it. I evacuate it by fire. As you type that word, evacuate, or evacuated, it is going to be evacuated and removed by fire because it's not a good meal that you took in your dream. It's not a good dr meal that you took in your dream. In your dream, you are happy, you are glad. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm going to tell me if you went hungry, sleeping or you you are hungry because you went to bed but you are telling you are hungry and you sat down and you ate very well god is evacuating it if that is you just type type evacuated because that meal has to get out of your body as you type evacuated the spirit of god will go and remove it by fire it is going to be removed by fire it's going to be removed by fire and god will begin to work his wonders and medical please let's get sharing 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 as you know, we need to share and God will bless, increase and prosper you. If you want to know more about us, Pastor Funke or myself, that's our website details on the screen. You can click on it, not now, when we finish, and you, need, you will get information about Pastor Funke or myself, about the church, about what we believe in, and God will bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of God. Let's get sharing, let's get sharing, let's get sharing. That's our details on. Please, let's get sharing. Get people on YouTube and get people on Facebook. Begin to share, share, share. Those of your friends you have not seen, begin to call them forth and let them come forth. Call them forth. Command them forth. Text them forth. Invite them forth. Share them forth. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. There's somebody you had a dream. You are in a queue. You are in a queue. You, you saw it I think because dealing with dreams tonight. You you are you are, you you had a dream, you saw you saw yourself in the queue. And the queue was long. 
and the, the what happened was that by the time you wake up woke up it has not come up to you your turn had not come because the queue was very very long it was very very long but God is telling me to tell you that it's going to move you from wherever you are to the front of the line to the front of the line God in his mercy that queue was a long queue and you cannot see the end and you are staying staying in that dream you are in that dream you are getting agitated you are getting fed up you almost left and you still stay and by the time you woke up you are not got into the front but I see God moving you to the front if that is you that you had that dream just type front 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 as you type front God will move you you know this program you have to declare and type God will move you from where you are to where it's supposed to be so that you can get your blessing. Just type front, front, front. And God will move you to the front. You are moving to the front. You are moving and making progress. Progress is your portion. I declare and declare progress is your portion. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and death. So just type front and God will begin to do a great work and a mighty work. So welcome once again to the Waymaker series. Waymaker series. Waymaker series. Where we are serving a God who is a Waymaker. It doesn't matter. I repeat that. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you are going through it doesn't matter the blockage this way maker will make a way for you and this God is the way maker I declare and I decree that this God will make a way for you this God will make a way for you there's somebody who had a dream also you saw yourself wearing tattered clothes very bad clothing you saw yourself wearing bad clothing and you began to wonder, how did this clothing come on, on me? And somebody else had a dream, you saw yourself in like a hut, a hut, a, a dilapidated place, a hut. Those are two dreams, two dreams, two different people, two dreams. Someone saw themselves, they had the clothing on, the garment was tattered and torn, and then somebody else saw them, themselves in a hut, in a hut, in a bath, like a village setting. I declare and I decree the Lord to move you out where the enemy has placed you in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree you are coming out. If that is you, tap it out. I am coming out. I am coming out. Because God wants to move you out. That's not the place you're supposed to be in that tattered dress you're not supposed to be wearing. That rag is not what you're supposed to be wearing. And you move that rag, I consume by fire. I put a glorious clothing on you in Jesus' name. And the second one, those who are see themselves in a demonic, in, in not in a demonic place, in a, in a hot or in a backward place like a village. I remove you from that place and I place you to where God wants you to be right now in the name of Jesus. You know, God is going to work a miracle. God is going to work a miracle. I've forgotten what the, the, the word that God said, but type that one. I know you remember. I can't remember. And I just skipped my mind. There's a word that God said that the work a miracle. I'm coming out. That's it. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. So if that is you, you want to come and type it out. I am coming out. I am coming out. God is bringing you out. You're not supposed to be wearing the rag. You're not supposed to be in that place like a hot. God is bringing As you type, I am coming out. God himself is bringing you out and delivering you and setting you free and working wonders and working miracles even in your lives and destiny. Isn't God good? If God is good, type that God is good. If God has been good to you and is good to you in this program right now, just type it out. God is good. This God we are serving is a mighty God, and this God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. Please don't cease, don't stop sharing. Begin to share, share, share. Let's get people on board. God will bless you, God will prosper you, God will turn things around in your life in the name of there's somebody who had a dream. You saw yourself having a picture of yourself, a photograph, and suddenly it just disappeared. You saw your photograph of yourself, and suddenly it just disappeared. You saw a photograph of yourself and suddenly you saw it in it disappeared and you began to wonder. I declare that your image that the enemy is taking to 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 strike you, I destroy the power of the enemy over you in the name of Jesus. If that is you, type it out. I cover my image, image blood, just have image blood. Image blood, image blood, image blood, image blood. That means that you have covered your image with the blood of Jesus. Image blood, image blood. That's that too is enough. Image blood. You saw your, you saw your picture, you saw your, your photo of you in your dream and disappeared, and you have began to wonder where did it go, who took it away, and and things in your life the way it is. Sometimes you feel pain in your body. Sometimes what you are expecting doesn't come true. Sometimes things just happen that you cannot explain. Just image blood, image blood. As you tap image blood, God will cover yourself, your image, your destiny with the blood 
of Jesus. He will cover it with the blood of Jesus. God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destiny. I think we need to go into the word of God now. God is saying so much. I'm saying so much. There's somebody, you see yourself in the sea. Yourself in the sea. I declare the fire of the Holy Ghost to remove you from there. I declare the fire of the Holy Ghost to remove you from there, from the sea, from the sea that you have been placed. I remove you by fire. I take you out by fire. I remove you by fire. If that is you, tell me that I am out by fire, out by fire, out by fire. Tell me that out by, that is you, you see yourself in a dream, river, sea, whatever. Uh, out by fire, out by fire, out by fire. Father, we thank you. I declare that person is out by fire. I say once again, that person is out by fire. I say once again, that person is out by fire. Holy Ghost, begin to work your wonders and miracles and let your name be glorified. We honor and we bless you in Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. With God, we are serving the semantic God and this God begin to work his wonders. So let's keep sharing, get on sharing. That is the details on the screen. You can see we are on Facebook, share on your timeline, share on your Facebook page, share within the groups you belong to and God will bless you. We are on YouTube. I know many of you, you have subscribers. Inform your subscribers, let them join on and God will bless And don't forget to subscribe. As you, before you leave YouTube and God will bless in case and prosper. Now let's go into the word of God. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. Do you know what I see just now? I see three babies. Three, three, three babies. I see two boys and a girl. Two boys and a girl. Two boys and a girl. If you are watching tonight and you are believing God for a baby, type the one you want. If it's a boy or a girl. Or if you want a boy and a girl. And if you are more than able you can choose the two boys and a girl. That's triplets. So whichever one you want, it depends on your capacity and your ability. I see two boys and a girl. The angels of God are bringing them up. I bring them down. And as you type with the one you want, they will be given to you. Father, we thank you. And if you believe, come watch me. It doesn't matter what your womb is saying. It doesn't matter what your husband is saying. I mean, whatever is wrong or whatever is right, it doesn't matter. If you believe before the end of this year, you will either be, you have given birth or carrying your baby. You know, this is the fourth month and it takes nine months, so we still have time. So, you are watching, you are with your husband, you are with your wife, begin to work at it. Because before the end of this year, you will be carrying either the boy or the girl, or the boy and girl, or boy and boy. Or the boy, boy, girl, whichever one you want. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Now let's begin to go into the word of God because the word of God is more powerful. And God will begin to bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Sister Christine, are you there? Please type present. I want to begin to pray. As I said, I will motion it in. Sister Crystal, Crystal, sorry, Crystal, are you there? Let me see your present. And God will begin to work his wonders. And there's a word that God is giving me for you, and God will begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives. And then, while I'm waiting for Sister Crystal to respond, let's open our Bibles to the book of First Kings, chapter 17. First Kings, chapter 17, um, one to nine. First Kings 17, one to nine. First Kings 17. That's one to nine. But for today, I'll just read verses one to three. I can see Sister Crystal saying present there. I love that. It's capital present. I can see very well. She wrote lowercase and then she wrote uppercase. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> it is well. Father, we thank you. I bring your daughter before you. Bless her in Jesus' name. Walk your wonders. I hear God, I should, God, God is telling me to tell you, my sister, that look, the uneasiness and the storm around, the, around you right now, I hear God say, he's stealing the storm around you. I, I see a storm, I see a storm around you. And I hear God say that it is he's stealing the storm around you. It's time to tell you that that storm will not swallow you up. That storm would not swallow you up. Don't ever think the storm will swallow you up. That storm will not swallow you up. God says he's going to make a way out, he's going to bring you out and he's going to steal the storm. It's going to steal the storm. It's going to make a way and it's going to be with you. Very, very important. Those three things. Is it with you? Is it will make a way and it will steal the storm. Those three things is the message that God has shared to tell you I have for you from God. It's make a way, steal the storm and just relax in it. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your life. Now, Sister Christine, in faith, I want to type out the storm has been stilled. 
the storm has been still. It doesn't matter if it's storms or stormies or whatever you want to call it. Once you write the storm, it covers all. So the storm has been stilled. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Now, let's open our Bible to the book of First Kings chapter 17. I will just read two verse, three verses. That's one to three because that's where we're going to be talking about. And oh, help us and bless us in the name of Jesus. That's First Kings chapter 17 verses 1 to 3. And the Bible said, Now Elijah the Tishbite of Gibeah in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. Verse 2. And the word of the Lord came to him. Verse 3. Depart from here and turn eastward and hide yourself by the brook Cherith, which is east of the Jordan. Father, we thank and we bless you. We praise and we adore you. As we are going to your word, go with us, speak to us. Mighty Father, let your name be glorified. We declare and declare that you continue to have your way, even in our lives and destinies, and your name shall be glorified. Speak to us, Lord. Open our understanding and touch us like never before. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody has opened us and telling me, you have a... An itchiness in your body. Part of your body is scratching you. You have some uneasiness in your body. God is telling me to tell you, if that is you, just type um, anointing oil because you need to do something about it. The, some part of your body is irritating you and scratching. Every now and then it scratches you, irritates you, irritates you, irritates you. There's even three people I can see. They have these rashes, these rashes around them. Get olive oil. After this program, call the name. That's why I want you to type olive oil. You remember olive oil. For those that this uh, concerns, this message is for you. Type olive oil. Get the olive oil, raise it up, call the name of Jesus seven times. Jesus seven times. Jesus seven times. And anoint that spot for 14 days. Anoint the spot for 14 days. There's going to be a miracle. You call the name of Jesus seven times. Anoint the spot for 14 days. Make it twice a day in the morning and at night before you go to bed. 14 days, twice a day, and you will see what God will do. God will begin to work wonders, and He will put a stop to that irritant in your body. You just dry off. Don't forget to testify to the goodness of God, and God will begin to work His wonders and miracles, even in your lives and destinies, in the name of Jesus. Once again, you are welcome to the prophetic hour, where you receive words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. Words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. So you are blessed and highly favored, in the name of Jesus. We're talking about Waymaker, the Waymaker series. Waymaker series. And this is the God that makes a way, even in farming. And we have been talking about this farming. Number one, farming, farming. Farming represents any lack in a life. Anything that is not enough in a life. Anything that you're struggling with in a life is a farming. And I declare tonight that every farming in your life ceases right now in the name of Jesus. In this case, the man of God was the one who declared a farming. The man of God may declare a farming. You who may declare a farming. But whoever declares a farming in your life, I declare I terminate it. I put a stop to it right now in the name of Jesus. No more famine. No more famine. No more famine. No more famine. God will begin to work. No more famine. No more famine. God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and deaths. And number two, we spoke about, we we're talking about steps by which you and I can get out and come out of the famine. That is the famine. We're talking about the famine. That's the topic, the famine. And you and I must come out because this way maker must make a way for you and I out of any famine we have found out. Ourself. Whether self-imposed famine, whether demonic imposed famine, whether whether natural imposed famine, whether COVID imposed famine, no matter what you want to call it, whether family imposed famine, no matter where or how the famine has come into your life, I declare that because you are watching, I put a stop to it right now in the name of I should type no more famine. I declare and decree that any form of famine in your life ceases right now. In the name of Jesus. I declare it ceases right now in the name of Jesus. Number two, we spoke about revelation. Revelation, revelation. It comes from the word of God. And you know, when we're talking about that, if I miss any of this series, don't worry, you can go to our Facebook page or YouTube channel and begin to click on the family and begin to watch and God will bless. This is part four of what you're talking about about the family. So, revelation, what are you what are you the word of God you read today? What was the revelation 
you got from it. Each time we read the word of God, there must be a revelation that God reveals to us through his word. Because it's the revelation of God that brings light and it shineth his light and darkness cannot comprehend it. And darkness will not overcome it. Why? Because the light is shining and shining and shining. That's why the light in the word of God is very important. It brings revelation. And number three, we spoke last week about the comfort zone. We spoke about the comfort zone. That is, are you are you too comfortable in your present zone? You need to check your surroundings. Sometimes people are so comfortable in their present zone that they don't do anything about it. We spoke intensively last week. If you want to know more about that, go and check last week's program last Tuesday on our Facebook page at 9 p.m. You see it there, and God will bless, increase, and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Do you know what I see just now? As I as I just spoke just now. I saw three mothers. Three mothers. They are rejoicing over their daughters. And this affects daughters. Three mothers rejoicing over their daughters getting married. They've been waiting for this for a for quite a while. And they are rejoicing. I see that wedding gown. I see them dancing. They were praising God. Even two of them were shedding tears of joy because they were so happy because they had been waiting for this for so long and it had come already. If that is you and you are the mother believing God for your daughter to get married, just start marriage, marriage, marriage. Three, three, I see three. Three, three, three mothers. Three mothers. And they are rejoicing and happy. Over your daughters getting married. Three, if that is you, just start marriage, 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 marriage. Because your daughters will get married very, very, very soon. Very soon. Sooner than you think. No more delay. I see God removing and breaking the yoke of delay over their life. It is broken in the name of Jesus. And then we spoke about the comfort. Today, we are going on, before I go on, number two, Sister Helene. Are you there? 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 Let me see your capital present. If I, Sister Helene is on board. Are you still on board? Sister Helene, are you on board? So we spoke, uh, we're going to go to number four, but because I say, I want to quickly pray for that sister and God will begin to work his wonders and miracles in your... There's somebody who had a dream. You saw fire in your dream. You saw fire, flame, fire, fire, fire. You saw fire, you saw fire. And God is telling me to tell you because you began to wonder, what is that? What is fire for? And God says that this is what will consume your enemies. This is what... This fire is a fire that will consume your enemies. I say it again. This fire is a fire that will consume your enemies. If that is you, just start consume, consume. You saw fire. Consume, 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 consume. Amen, amen, amen. So I can see your lower case present and upper case present. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles. Father, we thank you. I pray for your daughter. My sister, never think it's too late for you. It's not, I hear God say, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter your circumstances, it doesn't matter what you are going through. I hear, I don't know in what area God is saying that, but God is telling me to tell you that it is never too late for you. Don't give up on yourself. Mm. Don't give up on yourself. I hear it loud and clear. It's never too late. Don't give up on yourself. You've been praying and praying. We are nearly getting exhausted, exhausted uh, getting fed up, exhausted, exhausted of prayers in this particular area. But I hear God say, don't give up. Keep on praying. It's going to come through for you. He will surprise you. He will make a way for you. You see, when you are young, you have some dreams. When I say dream, I'm not saying you're sleeping and dream. Dreams, vision, goals, aspirations about your life. And many of them hasn't come to pass. And you are wondering, can it still come to pass? You are wondering, you are looking at your surrounding, you are looking at your age, you are looking at people around you, and you are wondering that, can it still come to pass? And God is telling you to tell you, it will come to pass. All those aspirations, all those dreams, all those desires, God is telling you to tell you, it will come to pass. Now, if you are still on board, you are still online, tap it, capital, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. Type it on each line seven times. I want it to sink in you. It will come to pass one line one, line two, seven times on seven. No, don't type it on one line. It will come to pass. Press enter, let that go. It will come to pass again and seven times. And you begin to see what God will do for you. Watch your life within the next six to eight months. Watch your life within the next six to eight months. And you see what God will do for you. 
because it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Now let's quickly go on to number four. Today, the, the, the title or the topic is not the topic of today, is the exits. The exits. Talking about farming. You know, there comes a time whereby you need to look for the exit and exit the exit, if I can use that word. You need to look for the exit and exit the exit. You know, when you enter a building, surely in the Western world, there's always an exit door. And if you are staying in that office, they will tell you, familiarize yourself with where the exit door is. In case there's an emergency, you need to run to that exit and gather. There's a place you gather. And even in a plane, when a plane is taken on God forbid, no matter how much you say God forbid, this air hostess will still do it or they will see what we still do it, whereby they will stand up. Now, you know, planes are advanced, so they just show it on the screen. They will put it on, they will tell you, please be attentive, and they will point out to you where the exits are in case of any no, it won't happen. I'm just I'm just making an example. They tell you, exits are there, uh, so it will be in the front of you, it will be behind you, it will be by your side. So, so and so, getting you ready to exit. So, exit is very important. When there's a famine, there must be an exit. You must be able to exit where you are to start a new life. You must be able to exit where you, the famine will not destroy. So that the famine will not, will not, will not, will not, uh, will not pull you down. Because famine can bring frustration. Famine can bring frustration. Farming can bring frustration. Sister Helen, I can see what you're writing. That, that's not the way I wanted to write it. Right? It will come to pass on one line. Press enter. Let it go. And in another line, I want seven lines. Seven different lines. That is a divine instruction. It will come to pass. Send it off. Let it go. Then type another line to come to pass. Seven times. Very, very, because God wants to put you on seven different levels. This is just one level. That's why it's very important to obey divine instruction. Very important. The exit. The exit. The exit. Can you afford to leave what is holding you behind? That is the question. Can you afford to leave what is holding you behind? Because God has something better for you. Look at the word of God in First um, Kings 17 verse 3. Depart from here and turn eastward and hide yourself by the brook of Cherith, which is east of Jordan. And this man departed. We knew he departed because of what followed up. But he departed. He left. He left. He left. Now, let me tell you, you need to depart. Sometimes... The pattern or exit may be painful because you don't know. And good examples in the Bible. Example number one. If Jacob had not departed because it was not easy for him to leave his father and his mother and the surroundings he knew and his, 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 his sisters-in-law, that's his first wife, his sisters-in-law, and live there and go. But he had to exit because... If he did not exit, do you know that he would not have achieved a lot? He had to exit to go to a place where he did not know. He had to fight against the famine in his life. There's something that happens that makes you exit. So this Jacob had to exit. He left his father. He left his mother. He left his brother. He left everything he knew. He left his sisters-in-law for an exit. And he left going to a land where he did not know. But you can see that he, because he exited... What happened? The blessings of God, the promises of God came to pass in his life. Sometimes we need to exit. Sometimes say, I am exiting, I am exiting, I am exiting. Sometimes we need to exit and exit for a new step. We cannot be on we cannot be on one place and say you want to move without making the move or without exiting. That exit is very, very important in it. Look at uh, Moses. Moses was in Egypt. Do you know that Moses could have stayed after he killed that guy and said, I'm not exiting. I'm staying where I am. I love it in Pharaoh's palace. I'm being fed. And you know, I can even become Pharaoh one day because uh, I'm the son-in-law to Pharaoh or I'm the yeah, son-in-law to Pharaoh or son, yeah, Pharaoh's my uncle. Like that. He could have stayed there, but he exited. Because he exited, the presence of God came to pass in his life. You know, to exit is very, very important. We need an exit point in every life. That's why, you see, we must be spiritual to know what the exit point is. The point that you and I need to exit. Sometimes we are forced to exit. Look at Joseph. Joseph was forced to exit, but it paid him off. 
Joseph would not have become the prime minister if he stayed with his father and his brothers and his stepmothers and servants enjoying with his father. And father will give me a new coat. Father will do it. He would have just, the dream would have died. But because he was exited or he came, he said by force, by force, by force, by force, by fire, he exited. What happened? He was able to fulfill his destiny. Look at where we read about Elijah. Because he exited, God was able to use him. Imagine if he returned back to uh, Gilead in Tishbat, uh, in Tishbe. Imagine what we would have not have heard of him. But he exited. He left. Look at, look at, I'm talking about the Bible. Look at, um, Look at Peter. Peter and, and some fishermen. He called them. About seven of them. After Christ had died and resurrected, he went into fishery again. But when Jesus came, what did he do? He exited. He let fishery alone. And he exited and he went into gospel. And look at how God raised him high. Whereby the shadows of the shadow of Peter began to perform miracles. If Peter had stayed as a fisherman, not exiting. Do you know, we don't have heard of the story. The story will have just ended in um, either the book of Matthew or Mark or Luke or John. It would not have continued into the book of Acts. Peter would not have become the head of the first church if he had not exited. That point of exit is very, very, very important in a life. And you and I must discover, because when we discover the point of exit in a life, it makes us avoid famine in our lives. I repeat that. When you discover the point, the moment that you need to exit, it makes you uh, avoid the famine in your life. Look at Joseph. Joseph would have would have uh, died as a, out of famine if he stayed, but because there was exit. Look at Jacob. Jacob would have just died a pauper or an old man, or would have inherited what Isaac had, and that would be the end. But because there was an exit, he was able to get blessings of his own. He was so blessed that even his brother Esau, when he saw all that he brought along, because why would Esau come with two hundred men? Armed men. He had the purpose. But when he saw the blessings, do you know what? He gave up and he became friends with Jacob. Why? Because Jacob exited at the right time. Look at um, Saul, called Paul. He was in Judaism. He was a Pharisee. He could have as well gone back to Judaism after he saw. But you know, he exited. He came out. He came out of Judaism. He came out of being a Pharisee. He came out from being a popular man. He came out. He exited. And look at what he was able to achieve. Why? Because he exited at the right time. The point of exit is very important in a life. Elijah exited. And that was why he was able to carry out the mighty works that God did. We call him Elijah the man of fire. The only man here on earth who could call down fire. And fire will call down, come down physically. He did it on the altar. He did it on the armies. He did it. He was the only one in the Bible whereby God answered him and he shot heaven. Do you know if he did not exit... If he did not even exit the first time to come and meet Ahab and exit the second time that God told him, do you know that we would not have heard of him because he just came out of nowhere. Elijah was not spoken of in, <coughs> me, in 1 Kings 17. We didn't hear about him in 10, in 11, in 12, in 13, in 14, even in 16. We didn't hear of him. Suddenly, 17. And the said, now Elijah the church by where did they come from? Nobody knows. He just came out because he exited. You see, when you exit, it's very, very important. There needs to be an point, a point in life whereby you need to exit. Exit so that you can avoid the famine. All these people exited and they avoided the famine. Their lives turned around. There was a miracle. Look at David. David was married to Saul's daughter, Micah, and he was enjoying himself. But a time came when David had to exit because they sent assassins to him in his house to kill him. If David has stayed there, I am a promise carrier. Ah, the Lord is my shepherd. You are my shield. You are my fortress. Oh, you are my guide. You are my lamb. David would have been killed and the promise would have died and that family would have killed him. What, what did David do? He exited. He didn't mind becoming a fugitive for many, many years before he inherited the promise of God. He, become, he became a fugitive because he, and he exited. Imagine even David had stayed in town. Saul would have caught him and killed him and the promise would have just 
just just ended just like that. But David, what did David do? He exited. The point of exit is very, very important in a life. Now, the question tonight, before I stop, is that what is your own point of exit? As I said before, if you enter a building, if you enter a plane, even when, when I enter a plane, the first thing I do is that I note where the exit is. I love sitting at the uh, exit, fire, the exit, the exit door next to it. They'll tell you, are you strong enough? You don't, you, you don't mind sitting? Yes, I don't mind. I just exit. Just because, you know, leg room, leg room and all that. But you see, when you enter places like that, you need to note where the exit is. Now, you have entered life. You have entered where you are. You need to open your eyes and pinpoint where the exit. Each time, there needs to be an exit. Each time, there needs to be an exit. If you don't exit, if I can use myself as an example, I remember in those days when I used to walk and walk and walk, they only gave me 20 days off. And each time, and God has been opening doors for me to travel. But you know, I had to do my traveling over the weekend. It doesn't matter how far I go, I have to come back. And once the training days is over, I cannot travel. So it held me down, whereby I could not go and carry the gospel to everywhere. But a day came when I exited, and thank God I exited. That day I was so happy, so glad, and I exited, and God began to open more doors. There was no more limit as to I have to come home immediately. There was no more restraint. There was no more coming this morning and going back to work straight away. I exited, and I've never looked back since then. And God had delivered me from the famine. I'm using myself as an example to know that you can exit. There needs to be a point of exit. You know, I spoke last week about the church we were before, that we had to exit also. Exit. And thank God I said, look at Pastor, my wife, and myself, Pastor Funke, myself. Thank God we are where to we are here where we are today by the grace of God because we obeyed His voice and exited. Many times God will speak to us that my daughter, my son, it's time for us, it's time for you to exit. Can you dear God and obey that voice? That's why I've shown you examples in the Bible. Exit point. Everyone in the Bible that made it had an exit point. Nehemiah, when he was with the king and he was with King Cyrus and he was giving the cup to the king to drink, that was all his duty. When the time came, he looked so sad and so that and was able to open his mouth and there was an exit. He exited the palace and went to Jerusalem and was able to build the wall around Jerusalem. And guess what? He became the governor of Jerusalem. If he had stayed and did not exit that, oh, I enjoy the pleasure. I like where I am. I'm with King Cyrus, the king of the whole world. Whatever he says goes. You know, I'm a cup bearer. I'll be hearing gist. I'll be hearing news. It's so good. But you know what? He exited. And because he exited, he became a great man. When they are mentioning people in the Bible, or mentioning people about Israel, they mention Nehemiah, that he was the one that built, rebuilt the wall around Jerusalem. Why? Because he exited. If you want to become an achiever in this world, look for the point of exit. Everyone has a point of exit. And I pray it should not be too late for you to exit. I pray that you will discover your exit point, you will discover and you will know the time and the right time because if somebody exits too early or too late, it's dangerous. We must exit at the right time. May God open your eyes to exit at the right time. Look at Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector and Jesus called him. And at that point in time, what did he do? He left everything and exited. We never had him going or read about him going back to the tax booth to get tax. He never looked back. He never went back. And look at what he achieved in the kingdom, in the work of the kingdom. He became an apostle. He was the one that I think, I believe, carried the gospel to India or somewhere or Asia. So he, he was a great man. Why? Because he exited. Now, if you want to achieve destiny, if you want to avoid famine, if you want to be what God has called you to be, there needs a point of exit in your life. That's why I tag this, the exit, the exit. You need to know the time to live where you are, the exit, the exit. And I've used the examples, or examples in the Bible, and the example of Elijah. Now, it's up to us. This is our time. This is our moment. If you want to prosper, 
you want to make it in life, you want to be what God wants you to be, then there must be a time of exit. Where have you exited already? Or are you still waiting for the for the exit door? You are still imagining when the exit will open, who will push it for you, who will who will who will who will find it for me? No. Look and discover it by yourself. Tommy Tapita, find it by yourself. Find it by yourself. Find the exit by yourself. Through prayer, through fasting, through seeking God, through the word of God, through everything you know how to do spiritually, discover that exit door. And when you discover it, make full use of it. A fire cannot be burning somewhere, God forbid, but I need to use example. A fire cannot be burning somewhere and you see the exit door and say, okay, if I exit this door, I would escape. And if I see burning, okay, if I exit this door, and do I push it? Do I pull it? Do I hold it? Do I lift it? Do I pull it out? What do I do? You need to know. You need to take action instantly. Instant action. Stop the Stop waiting. Go through the exit and make it. If Jacob had stayed with his father and mother, guess what? Esau would have killed him. Esau would have killed him. If David had stayed, um, um, what do you call it? If David had stayed, Saul would have killed him. If Moses had stayed, Pharaoh would have killed him. We are talking about facts of life. If um, Paul had stayed, who was Saul? If he had stayed in the Pharisee, do you know, we would, not, we would not have known his name. Out of all the Pharisees in the Bible, that we only know about Gamaliel or Gamaliel or whatever they call him, Gamaliel, because he's the head and he's the most prominent one. The rest, we don't know. All they will write is Pharisees, Pharisees, they write high priests, they write chief priests, but the only one we knew and we know his name is Paul. Why? Because he stood up and he exited. Are you ready to exit? Are you ready to exit? That is the question. I'm stopping there tonight. I don't want to go by my life. Are you ready to exit? I pray the Lord will give us grace to exit. And we shall exit and come out by fire in the name of Jesus. I am coming out by fire. I am coming out by fire. I am coming out by fire. We need to exit. And may God help us in the name of Jesus. So that we can avoid the famine. Before I pray, you are out there. I don't want to give you an after Christ. You need to exit sin. You need to exit and leave sin alone. That's the exit door is open. Christ is the exit door. Enter through Christ the exit door and find life. Find life and find rest for your soul. Now, if you want to give your life to Christ, just say this simple after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you. I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and be my Lord. Deliver me from the devil and save me from the devil. Mighty Father, I, ac I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in your Lamb's Book of Life. Give me your Holy Ghost to empower me. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. If you have just said this prayer, guess what? You have exited sin through the door which is Christ and you, are, you now have life and your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Beyond the door are greener pastures and you have entered the greener pastures in Christ. So, Continue fellowshipping with the children of God. Go and meet the, your, the, your, your pastor. Tell him or her. You have just been born again. You want him or her to nurture. If you don't have a church, look for a Bible-believing church. And also, get a Bible. If you cannot buy a Bible, download one on your smartphone or, your, or whatever you are using. And you know what? You'll be blessed. Read your Bible every day and God will bless you all in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And I believe that this is going to begin to work its wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny in the name of Jesus. You continue to arise. Just one prayer for us. Arise and shine. Lord, let me discover my exit door. Let me discover my exit. It can be a door. It can be a gate. It can be an opening. Lord, open my eyes. To discover, let's begin to pray. Father, we come before you. But Alpha the Omega, give me the grace to discover my own exit so I can exit at the right time through the right source, through the right door. Give me that grace, give me that grace, give me that grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you, bless you. Father, we give you all the praise. We have heard your word about the exit. My dear Father, give us the grace to go through that exit door and exit and begin to and begin to become achievers and achieve our destiny and avoid the famine in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified, honored, and praised. Continue to have your way and bless us. Thank you that we bless you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen, amen. You are blessed and highly favored. God is going to bless in Christ and prosper you. In the name of Jesus, the third person. Sister Buki, are you up and ready? Are you there? I have to make sure you are there. Before I go, I want to bring to your notice all our programs, online programs, by the grace of God, both on YouTube and Facebook, every Sunday.
We have Sunday service, Sunday worship service, 10 a.m. on this same Facebook page and YouTube channel. God will bless you. Join us Sundays at 10 a.m. Very powerful, very dynamic, full of fire and power, praises, worships, special numbers, prophecy, and everything included just in one pack. Join us Sundays 10 a.m. and then Sunday in the evening we have uh, our our couples forum where we talk about how to stay together in love, peace, and harmony. We are still talking about let's start afresh because it's a new year. And every couple needs to start afresh to move forward. If you want to know more, join us this Sunday coming, 8 p.m. And God will bless you. On Wednesdays, we have Bible study. Tomorrow, we have Bible study. Very interactive. Interactive. Somebody was saying they are enjoying the three-in-one question. There's another one coming tomorrow. If you want to know more, join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pastor Mugai and myself, very dynamic. If you want to grow spiritually, you want to become a strong Christian, then this program is for you. Wednesday, Bible study. Join us online. God will bless. On Fridays, we have prayer meeting. We will pay our way to breakthrough. Join us at 7 p.m. Friday prayer meeting and God will bless and increase and prosper you. And then uh, my wife, Pastor Funke, has here my cry on Sundays at 6 a.m., Mondays at 11 p.m., Wednesdays tomorrow at 1 p.m., Thursdays at 1 p.m. And she has special prayers for women 9 p.m. on on Fridays. So make sure you join and God will bless you. That's on our YouTube, uh, Facebook page and God will bless you in and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know if Sister Buki has okay, she's in present. Mm. Amen, amen, amen. She didn't do the upper and lower case, but it doesn't matter. We are in present. Amen, amen, amen. So that's our program. Make sure you join us. Please don't forget to like our Facebook page. Very important. Like our Facebook page, follow it and share it. Like it, follow it, share it and you will not miss any of our programs, either Pastor Fuka or myself, or coming together as church, you will not miss any of our programs. Join us, like it, follow it, share it, and God will bless you. And also, for those who are YouTubers, watching us on YouTube, don't forget, before you go, please, I know that many of you, you are, I can see your names, that means that you have signed in already. Before you go, before you leave, um, subscribe to our channel. And not only that, press the notification button and then that will let you know whenever you are coming on on YouTube, you get a notification and can join us so you don't miss any of our programs and God will bless, increase and prosper you mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. The God we are serving is a mighty God and this is going to begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destiny. Sister Buki, I want to pray for you, your turn. Why am I praying for these people? If you join us late, you will not know but we are praying for them because they are the... We are praying for them because they are the first three that joined us in this program. The first three that joined us. Father, we thank you. I bring your daughter before you. Bless her in the name of Jesus. Walk your wonders. I see a well. I see a well. But I see the well being blocked. And I'm asking, what is this God? And I see the Lord. And I see you, Stabuki, standing by the well. And I see you doing this. Because you had a rope and a bucket wanting to bring water out of the well. But because death has been poured into it, the well has been blocked. But I see the angels of God coming, coming, removing all the dead. You know, when they remove, they use digger, they use caterpillar, they use all these tractors and trucks, and they were removing, and they were removing, and they, were, and they got to the source where the water was, and they removed the last bit, and water began to gush out. And you are able with ease to get the water. I said, what is this God? And God says that what has been difficult for you, he has made it easy. What has been difficult for you? The things you have been struggling with over the years, God says he has made a way. Tap it out, book. he has made a way. God says he has made a way for you. And I hear this loud and clear. Your struggling is over. Because at, at that way you struggled. You tried to see if you could get the debt out. You tried to see how you can get water. You are desperate to get water. Because, but God has answered your prayers. And God says, I will tell you that, as from this moment, he will make things easy for you. That as from now on, you begin to do things out of ease and with ease. Type that word easy, please. Very important. Easy, easy. Out of ease. You begin to do things out of ease. Out of ease. Because it's a time of things being easy and becoming easy in your life. You know, there's always a season. And I hear God say, this is your season of ease. What I've been doing, that I've been feeling very difficult. God says that no more feeling, no more difficulty. It's a time of ease. Now, let me tell you, whatever you want to do, you intend doing, do it now in this season of peace, in season of ease, because it will become easy for you. Father, we thank you. 
We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Father, I pray for all our viewers. Bless them in Jesus' name. Walk your wonders. Because they have joined us, Lord, I bless every one of them. COVID shall be far from every one of you who is watching and your family members. In the it shall never come visiting you. I declare and decree all you watching, your families are hidden under the wings of the shadow of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Before we go, I want to tell you this word. COVID is far from me and my family. COVID is far from me and my family. COVID is far from me and my family. Tap it up. Very important. COVID is far from me and my family. Father, we thank you. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, once again, thank you for watching. God will bless you. We do appreciate you. Don't forget, we are coming back tomorrow again, Pastor Mika and myself, tomorrow at um, 7 p.m. by God's Bible study. But we are, Pastor is coming up at 1 p.m. tomorrow for here, Michael. Dynamic. The hours. Pastor, the hours. The hours. So, you want to know more about the hours? Come tomorrow, join 1 p.m. and God will bless. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a nice evening. Sweet dreams. And share your testimony. Very important. Share your testimonies. And God will bless. Thank you. Bless you. Bye bye. And bye bye. And bye bye.